Good sunny morning from the NCL getaway. It's day six and in today's adventure, we're headed into Nassau, Bahamas. We're gonna take a walk around the downtown area. We're gonna have a look at the port and we're also gonna take part in some of the activities around the ship. Okay, we are coming in slowly but surely to Nassau. Then over there, you can see that we have plenty of company in port today. And here we are, let's see, one, two, three, four other cruise ships in. So here's the thing I want to say about the Port of Nassau. I've been to Nassau several times. I've actually done the Atlantis tour. We're not doing it on this trip, but I could highly recommend that one to you. They have a great water park there. They have restaurants, they have casino, if that's what you're into. Um, definitely a great experience, at least the last time I took it. Generally speaking, Nassau is not my favorite island. Um, I recall it being one of those islands where people are really very pushy and they're trying to sell you something constantly. They want you to buy this from them, buy that from them. They want you to get in a taxi with them. They want you to take, you know, a tour with them. They want you to buy something from them. Uh, my goal is to just take a little walk around the downtown area. NCL has provided a map for us to follow. Now this is the map that I mentioned that the cruise ship will always give you there will be one at the area that you exit and they always put them in your stateroom the night before as well. There's an Effie jewelry store but this particular ship has an Effie on it. Caraloha is always very popular. Del Sol is always cool. Um, I am looking specifically for the Pandora boutique which is number eight on the map. Maybe go up a block and come back down in front of the straw market just doing a basic circle and coming back around. There's sun behind me, but it looks like a rain cloud and there's that nasty rain cloud. You'll recall it followed us all the way in. Okay, I wanna talk about an incident that just occurred. We're getting ready to go out to Nassau, as you know, and Paul just happened to take a look at his little lanyard and he's looking at all of his card keys and everything. And he realizes that he does not have his room key. He's got someone else's room key. So when he was down in the atrium earlier when we all split up, he got himself a drink and he apparently was given back the incorrect card key. Be careful. Take a look at your card when you buy something. Make sure that they give it back to you, particularly in a bar situation. Okay, a lot of closed down shops. Not a lot is opened. We are looking, as I said, for the Pandora shop and getting off the ship was as chaotic as I said it would be. Once you reach the end of the pier, there's a whole bunch of people there trying to get you to get in a taxi with them and to take a tour with them. So we went back in the opposite direction of the way that we were going um, because the other direction seemed very desolate. Where's Parliament on the map? Okay, so we should have gone right instead of left. Okay, so here's the thing. Let me show you. We came out across the street where that red building is. And we went left. That is East Street. Do not go left. Go right. Past the Gucci store. You will find Parliament. We are in the more touristy area. And the Pandora that I've been looking for. So Pandora Deed is done. There's an Effie shop. Colombian Emeralds is across the street. There's the perfume bar. They usually have a sale case in the Diamonds International. So I'm headed in here now. We'll see what we see. Okay, continuing on. So we have found the Starbucks. Your typical souvenir shop here. I Heart Souvenirs gift shop. We have Rip Curl. Looks like it has Bermuda shorts, some swimwear, flip-flops. Here's the Starbucks. Oh, a David Yurman and a Brightling. So they have a variety of stores in here. There's a Brightling, there's a Tag, there's a Starbucks, there's a Gucci in here, and another Pandora shop. There's a Tory Birch in here as well. Let's see what's in the Pandora area. Oh, 
For some reason, the TI or the Tanzanite International is closed. But we're gonna go down another block or so, then we're gonna come back up the other side. I don't know. I saw some drizzling. You saw some what? It's drizzling. It's drizzling? Oh yes, it is drizzling. It is raining just a little bit. It's not too bad. That nasty rain cloud has reared its ugly head, and so here we are. Okay, right across the street is the straw market. We are on Bay Street, just standing here waiting for the rain to pass. And as soon as it does, we're gonna go up a little bit and cross over and then come back on the opposite side of the street, headed towards the Pacific. So remember that nasty old rain cloud I was telling you about? Yeah, it chased us um, through the streets of Nassau, up and down Bay Street. We got about halfway through the things that we wanted to do and then it started to rain. No, it didn't rain, it poured. And now that we're back up here, let me show you what it looks like. I won't say there's not a cloud in the sky, but it's not raining. I mean, puddles of water everywhere. Everything was drenched. But you need to follow this walkway out. And just over here, you see these people walking right here on the opposite side of the tin roof. And you go up the pier that way to where you see these cars parked over here. You head out that way. Um, you also have to come back in that way. When you come in, there's a security set up where they are asking to see your card key, just your room card key. They don't ask to see your actual photo ID, unlike Bermuda. So when you come out at the top of this street, you go up a street, a block, uh, where you see the cars moving here, that is Bay Street. Do not go left. There is nothing that way if you want to go shopping. Right here, the pink building, that should be Parliament. Um, you want to go off to the right. You want to head in this direction. That is the area of Bay Street that has all of the shops and the restaurants that you might be interested in um, spending some time at. Here's something that uh, you should know that we learned. But on this cruise, because we've been out into international waters, Orlando is our first port back in the U.S. and not New York. We have to clear customs in Orlando. So everyone has to get off of the ship with your all of your ID, not your belongings, just you, your card key, whatever um, government issued ID you use to get on the ships. You need to get off of the ship with that, clear customs, and then go about your business. Either go on to your tour or come back on the ship. They are suggesting that you plan to wait or expect that it take about 30 minutes for that to happen. Okay, we are going to dinner at Le Bistro. We are a little early. Here we are for dinner. This is a la carte, but with our um, dining plan, we get an appetizer and a soup. And these are the entrees. bread is not warm. It is cold bread, but still you can't go wrong with the French baguette. Okay, here is the steak tartare, and here we go. He's never had steak tartare before. He's a little nervous, but he is an adventurous eater. Here we go. Steak tartare, in case you don't know, is raw beef. The pregnant pause. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what's supposed to be in a steak tartare. Well, I know it's, 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 it's raw beef, but I taste, tasted the mayonnaise right away. It don't actually taste or feel like it's a raw steak, raw yeah. beef. It's the same it's as ahi tuna. Yeah, it's good, yeah. All right, there you go. You have it the first time yeah, trying with the... steak tartare. Good. And they have a little bread like it's pate even. So, mm -hmm. how is it with the bread? Just a different texture. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, it's the cauliflower and scallops. So when you think about me and the lobster bisque the other night over at Cagney's, this soup is a huge improvement over that. This is delicious. This is absolutely delicious. 
the right thickness, excellent flavor, not too salty, just perfect, perfectly done. The scallops are bay scallops, so they're not as large as your sea scallops, but they're still flavorful and they're tender, and this is just delicious. I highly recommend. And we've gotten all of the appetizers, so I'll let you know what Paul thinks about the escargot. I always have the escargot as an appetizer here at the bistro. It's always really good. And for those that really don't like escargot, it's really a, a mild flavor and it takes in a lot of the, uh, the seasoning. So it tastes more of the garlic and butter than you do the escargot. So here is the mushroom soup. It's usually one of my favorites here at Le Bistro. And here is the French onion soup. So I've had both the mushroom soup and the onion soup. The mushroom soup is delicious. It's one of my favorites here. There's peppercorn in there. There's enough cream in there. It's just smooth and delicious. The mushroom flavor is amazing. I've also tried the French onion soup. It's really good, a little salty, but still tasty. Um, so if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the mushroom soup. Next up is the endive salad. Um, very beautiful, beautifully constructed. Mm -hmm. My problem with the salad is not the salad itself, it's that it had blue cheese dressing. I don't love blue cheese. That's my only complaint about it. In a different dressing, I probably would have eaten the whole thing. The crumbs that are with it, um, I think it's apple crumble and the tomatoes, everything's fresh, everything's delicious. I just don't care for blue cheese. So I just want to come back and correct something I said. That is not an apple crumble on the endive salad. It was actually walnuts. And I don't usually like nuts in my food, but that was perfectly fine. That worked just well for me. The other thing that I wanted to know is the bread is delicious. It didn't come to the table warm. It's very good. There's a French baguette and there's also um, a multigrain with cranberry in it. It's delicious. I would give both of these a thumbs up. It's worth the calories. Oh, lovely. Wow. That's a big pork chop. That pork chop was good. I had the Dover sole. And if you've never had Dover if you've never had Dover sole before, it is a light white flaky fish. It's very flavorful. The thing that I thought was odd is that there were croutons um, sitting on my fish. Paul didn't mind it, but I thought it was strange. Um, there are keepers on the Dover sole, as there should be. Um, that is gives it really great flavor. And there was um, peppercorn, which at times is just a little too overwhelming. I did like it. I did enjoy it. I probably would order it again. It just was not my favorite Dover sole. I've had better Dover sole, but it was good. A solid dish. I could recommend it. So you had the pork chop. How was it? It was good. I, so I like skin. It's cooked very good. And it tastes very good. Tastes good. Okay. Oh, and also the potatoes that I got taste like french fries and the Nomad Lounge. Which are yucca fries. Yes. Okay, what about the green beans? Okay. Okay, so we just finished dessert. Just had the um, assortment of ice creams and the sorbet. There was strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, and lemon sorbet. And I like the little crumbles under each. There was some chocolate, it felt like a little graham cracker, everything. It was just one small scoop, perfect. 
the lemon sorbet was a nice little palate cleanser as well. I didn't like the um the, all the ice cream part. I didn't really like the um the um, chocolate part underneath, but uh, the lemon sorbet I didn't think I would like, but I ended up liking it. And then the strawberry has kind of no flavor. Be sure to stay tuned for day seven, which was scheduled to be our day at Great Stirrup Key. Find out what we had to do instead. Join us for dinner at Moderno. And we hope that you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventure takes you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Bye now.